Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. In uh, today's video, we got a 2001 Chevrolet Blazer. It's four-wheel drive, 4.3, uh, automatic. And, um, well, it needs a freight. It needs a front brake caliper and brake hose. And, will a uh, ABS sensor. So, uh... And it also needs pads, so you're really getting a four for one uh, in this video. Here's the new pads. New brake hose, not a sponsor by uh, O'Reilly's. There's the part number. So I think it was like 20 bucks. And most difficult one, your last, not a sponsor, wished I was. Brake caliper comes with all the goodies inside. This monster is heavy. I'd say it weighs about 50 pounds. Here's the uh, pieces for the uh, <coughs> uh, brake pads, and then you got the caliper. And this is the one with the bracket. Uh, I think it was like $63 and some change. Uh, but the total was like 80 bucks because I've got to take the old caliper off and return it as a core. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this and get going. Make sure you've got some brake fluid. Walmart brand, you know, not a sponsor either. Five bucks, and you get a whole uh, 32 ounce. So, uh, tools you're going to need is a 18 millimeter for this one right here and this one right here which I've already loosened loosened both of them and uh, we'll go ahead and take the caliper off and uh, lay it to the side actually just bought this because I didn't have it couldn't find it anyway ten bucks go ahead and get these off these are the type that when they come out, the slide pin is one unit. So just lay that to the side. Don't get no dirt or nothing on this. You gotta clean this and lubricate that later. Bottom one, same way. Now that you got those out, go ahead and uh, take a big flathead and stick it where the piston is, or try to anyway, or Take it right here and just pry that bag boy back out. Because what's sticking and I'll show you that in just a minute what's actually sticking. Alright, so here's another trick. The uh, piston is not wanting to come out. I mean, it's pushed back in the caliper because the caliper's so messed up. So what I'm going to do is pop this off, the bleeder valve, and uh, nothing came out. So it's probably got a collapsed line as well. Now, if you try to prying it. Be careful because you've opened the bleeder wrap. It's going to shoot out fluid. See? That is brown as could be. Oh. Now, caliper should come, yep, should come off. I'll just lay that to the side. Alright. Two of the reasons I'm replacing this cal this caliper. Number one, the brakes were seized completely. I couldn't even turn this rotor. I can turn it now since it's all taken off. Uh, secondly, these boots right here. I mean, look at that. They should never, ever tear off. I mean, they're hard as a brick. Nothing to them. Um, when the piston gets shot out too far and it rips the boot like here and here, you're going to cause a, a major uh, leak because behind these boots is brake fluid. And if it leaks out and gets onto this rotor, you'll never stop. You could wreck, cause a major issue. Um, so that's just, you know, two of the reasons 
and then you know it's sticking in the brake pads and I'm letting it dangle if you're not replacing the brake hose do not let it hang because you'll damage the hose but since I'm replacing the hose too I don't really care um, the pads there's nothing left this baby is metal to metal and I'm not joking when I say that those pads have whoa yeah these pads have seen better days and uh, the rotors probably trash too so that's not good this one's not so bad but there's clearly not much meat left at all and this is metal to metal like this one is the rotor's trashed it's not that bad on the inside I may go ahead and replace it yeah it does have some grooves in it so I may go ahead and replace that unit too alright so the next thing I'm gonna do is if you bought the whole thing like I did uh, you gotta get this bolt and this bolt off these are the same size as the caliper slide in bolts 18 millimeter takes those off Here's an old trick I've known for a long time that Meemaw taught me. So, if you need more leverage, because you cannot put a socket on here, the socket will not fit because of the upper control arm. No room. Can't go in like that. The bottom one, yes, but not the top one. So, what you do is, to get more leverage, because these things are on there super tight, put the boxed in on, take this in, slide it up in here and go up and usually you'll knock it loose boy I tell you that son of a gun was on there so I took the 18 but I had to go get my 22 and double lengthen that to actually get more leverage I, I was afraid I was going to snap this little 15 off and even the big old 22 was bending she got her done so both of them are knocked loose now both of them are out you can pretty much just uh, take this thing and throw it away because you're not going to need it so now we're going to get the rotor off which is pretty much simple I got the lug nuts on it remove the lug nuts and the rotor will slide right off if it don't, then I'm taking a hammer to it. Alright, lug nuts are off. It should just come off, but. Or that. Ta da! And you can see the marks. This rotor is eat up all two pieces. Now, you could get it resurfaced, but with it being this damaged, I really don't think. Um, it would be worth it to resurface it. So, maybe going and getting a uh, new caliber, a uh, new rotor for it. All right. So now we're tackling the uh, ABS sensor. It's broke it loose. The size is an Allen heads. I believe that says. Nine sixteenths. No, three sixteenths. Yeah, three sixteenths. Three sixteenths is the size for the nut. Don't want to lose that. Whole thing comes right out, just like so. But you can see what happened to it. It melted. This thing got hot. These brakes locked up pretty bad on this side. I'm gonna loosen this nut, 10 millimeter.
right here it's held on looks to be maybe this bolt right here let's see a 13 mil 13 mil is right All right, so I got it off. A little bit of a pain. So I had to get my uh, 13 mil and go on the inside of the upper control arm, which was this way underneath, straight underneath that way, and come in behind this and hold the nut steel, which was this guy, the stud, that was poking through because the whole thing kept spinning. And then I took the ratchet on this side and knocked it loose, got the thing out. Now... Make sure that you remember which order these came into so they can go back in the same way. The um, ABS wire went on top of the brake hose or, uh, itself and then they both went into the back and the little thing knobs that stick out go in this hole right here uh, and they both line up together. It's just something I wanted to point out. but. It's free now. You can see it's pretty eat up. This thing has pretty much almost caught on fire. So the next thing you want to do is there's another 13 mil right here under this but you can't see it that holds this bracket on and holds this together they are together as well and um, actually this was on top of the uh, brake hose and then you gotta loosen those 13 mil and then you gotta follow the wire all the way up in here I can't really exactly show you but the connector yeah there you go is right there unplug it and then uh, the whole thing will come out all right so bad news as you can tell here's the old one see how long it is and it has all the brackets check this one out very short the connectors are the same and everything like that the sensors on the end are the same uh, I just cannot use this one it has to be this long and the reason for is because when this wheel pivots back and forth or up and down um, that type of thing it is going to stretch this wire so it cannot be used I got this at the local junkyard so it looks like I'll be going back and getting another one because I'm not paying 50 bucks for a brand new one so on another note I guess I will cut this and uh, we'll try to fill in the next part to this, either in this video and connect it to it, or I uh, will upload a part two to this. So make sure you look out for that. And uh, look in the description or at the bottom in the comments for part two so you don't miss it. Like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm freezing my butt off here, trying to help you guys out. And as always, subscribe. Make sure you have the notification bell on so you get notified every time I upload. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day or night. Watch out for part two.